Let's take our chassis and keep it aside. Now let's take 4 nuts and bolts and let's keep that aside as well. Let's now take 2 T-clamps and 2 of our BO motors. Now all we need for the assembly are 2 wheels. Let's get into it. Take the chassis, put the T-clamp through the slot provided in the chassis and turn it around. Now bring in your battery operated motor and match those two holes on the motor with the T-clamp. Now put a bolt through the hole passing through both the motor and the T-clamp. Now once that's done, take your nut and fasten it. Turn 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 until it's tightened properly. Yes, that looks good. Do the same with the other nut as well. Hold the nut in place and turn the bolt until it's tightened properly. Yes, that looks amazing. Now do the same with the other battery operated motor as well. Take your T-clamp, put your motor and put through poles through the holes present in the motor and then fasten it with the help of nuts. Turn 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 all the way down. Take your wheel and attach it to your motor. Make sure that it's attached properly. Yes. Now do the same with the other motor as well. Take your wheel and attach it to your motor. Yes, just like that. Now let's attach our caster wheel onto our chassis. Take two spacers. Take our caster wheel and take two screws. Now take a spacer and attach it to your caster wheel. Turn it all the way until it's tight. Yes, now do the same with the second spacer as well. That looks good. Now take the spacer and caster wheel and you can see two slots provided on the chassis. Now hold it there in position and attach it with the help of screws. Now use a screwdriver in order to tighten these to make sure that they are in place. Yes, all done. Now flip it around and as you can see there are wires coming out of our motor. Now through the slots provider, take the wires out through these slots. Now flip it around 
and pull it into the position and we are all done